If Dovedale were only half as beautiful as it is famous, it would still be very pretty indeed. The deep limestone gorges of the southern Peak District are almost too pretty for comfort. The world has flocked to them since Victorian times, and to Dovedale in particular, wreaking a heavy toll on the natural landscape. But work on the footpaths means they are still up to the challenge. And if you can't afford to miss Dovedale either, here's a classic round trip for a day's outing. The walk starts not in Dovedale, but at Tissington, four miles north of Ashbourne, off the A515. This old English village lies in the estate of a Jacobean manor house, and is a delight in itself. There are fabulous well dressings at the end of May, and the hall open to the public for the first time in 1998. The 10 mile walk begins at the car park on the Tissington Trail, signposted at the edge of the village. This circular walk is clockwise, and the whole route is particularly easy underfoot. The route from the old railway station goes south on the trail for a mile and a half. Crosses over into Lindale, down into Dovedale by Thorpe Cloud, then more than three miles north up the famous valley to Milldale. From here, a short, steep climb east brings you to a surprising ridge, heading across to pick up the trail again for the last two and a half miles home. Our walkers, showing us around, are no, Bruce and Carolyn. The start of any walk can be confusing. Here, make sure you don't set off through the bridge, going north. Instead, head in the opposite direction, down past the toilets and the old railway platform. The station is a regular rendezvous point, at weekends particularly, with picnic tables for the many walkers and cyclists. Almost immediately, you're away from it all, in a rural fairyland, with a canopy of trees overhead and, whatever the time of year, a range of wild flowers alongside the track. The Tissington Trail here, crossing the A515 road, is one of a series of walking, cycling, riding paths created in the Peak District along the old railway routes. This one stretches 13 miles from Ashbourne to Parsley Hay and links up with the High Peak Trail. Bikes can be hired at various points. Over this bridge with wooden fencing, at the beginning of Old Thorpe Station, leave the trail by turning right up to a small road. past the old station house to a junction where you bear left and aim for an inn, the dog and partridge. Continue on down the side of the building and soon the next landmark of the walk looms in sight over the hedge, the conical and somehow comical shape of Thorpe Cloud. Downhill, right at the entrance to the Pever of the Peak Hotel, Seek out the footpath at right. It's not immediately obvious from the road. Follow the path across two small fields. And finally, cross the wall and turn left into a new setting, a wide, open pasture. Head up by the hotel buildings.
Suddenly, much closer now, the sharp pyramid of Thorpe Cloud appears again. As you bear across to the right of it, consider how strange it is that millions of years ago this whole area was a coral reef under the sea. Cross the track, which goes to a small quarry, and head downhill to the right, over the pasture, to the corner of the wall enclosing Thorpe Cloud. This is one of those near-secret limestone valleys, Lindale, which forms the final run-in for the annual Dovedale Dash held in late autumn each year. But you shouldn't run through Lindale. It's got too much beauty of its own. It also has something else, peace, before the helter-skelter of its famous partner below. So take your time in Lindale. It's only short, but finally the path runs directly down to Dovedale. And if it's the weekend, expect to find a crowd here, gathered round the near legendary stepping stones. You can't really blame the world for coming here. The spot is a jewel, but finding so many other people is always a shock to the walker's system. your time comes to move on, turn right into the gorge and head three and a half miles upstream. The River Dove here is the border between Derbyshire on this bank and Staffordshire. It is one of several major trout streams in this limestone land. To keep in step with the constant flow of visitors, the path has been heavily renovated. It is mostly level, with one stairway climb and a rocky step further up the valley. sides of the ravine are pockmarked with caves and rocks with colourful names, Lover's Leap, Tissington Spires, Twelve Apostles. Cross the footbridge, however tempting, for it leads to several footpaths away from the route. Finally, the woods give way to grassy slopes. At the stone bridge crossing into the pretty hamlet of Milldale, leave the gorge, turning sharp right up a zigzagged path.
approaching the top, make sure you head to the left, towards a signpost on the horizon. Cross the wall and discover another surprise, an escarpment high above the River Dove. Follow the track by the wall, heading generally east. Venture slightly left to see the River Dove, now turning again to enter Wolfscott Dale. Beyond is Beresford Dale and the village of Hartington, all worthy of other superb walks when you have the time. But now it may be later than you planned, for you will have dallied too long on the way. Continue with the wall, making sure you take the left of these two styles. Climb up, still with the escarpment wall, and eventually drop down through a field and out onto a lane. Here you turn right and prepare to meet reality at the A515 ahead. Turn right again. Along the roadside, beware it will be busy. But after only 250 yards, cross the road to a sign. Where you can drop down towards our old friend, the Tissington Trail. You reach the trail by passing under the bridge and turning right, up some steps. The homeward route, of course, is simple. The trail does the work for two and a half miles, returning you, however temporarily, to a rural fantasy land. A true rainbow's end to a classic walk.